Okay, today we are playing a game on Junker Dam. We are in the gold SR range, and we will be playing Mercy the entire way through. Not technically the entire way through. There's like 10 seconds of Moira at the very end of the game, but it's pretty much all Mercy. Current team composition is Arissa, Zarya, Junkrat, McCree, Mercy, and Lucio. So, Arissa, Zarya, not your optimal combo of tanks, because Arissa is not as good at helping Zarya build charge as the other tanks are. I don't think this is as much of a big deal as people make it out to be. Because people make this out like to be like an unplayable combo of tanks. Like, no, no, no. We've still got Roadhog Zarya, guys. Calm down. Arissa Zarya is not that bad. But it's not optimal. Also, Mercy Lucio. That's a combo of healers I'm personally not a big fan of. Because I think it's pretty low healing and pretty low in terms of contributing damage as well. Compared to most other combos of healers. So I'm not a huge fan of Mercy Lucio either. But also not the end of the world. So, let's just start the game. So, we're standing up in um, the standard Junker Town starting position. We were damage boosting Junkrat, but then we kind of shuffled around a few people. So, the team makes it quite awkward for us right here, because everybody splits up. Uh, Winston, good jump there, pal. Good jump. Our team makes it quite awkward for us here. We see Genji over there, so we come over here, safe away from the Genji. But half our team just neatly, our team just neatly splits into two groups of three. So now all our tanks are over there with Lucio and the two DPS are over here. Ideally, we all just go one way together instead of splitting like this, because this is what makes it easy for your team to die when everybody goes a different direction like this, because the enemy team can just go, oh, well, uh, let's just pick that side real quick and just crush them 6v3 and then it's easy, right? So, you know, ideally, our team doesn't do this, but we don't have control over that. So we jump over here to reconvene with the tanks and don't necessarily need to because they are, don't actually look like they're in that bad of a position. The lowest health person over there currently is Lucio. The two tanks are mostly fine and Lucio decides to do this, so I guess it was okay in the end, but... We have now left the two DPS over there without any healers, so McCree ends up getting killed, and uh, we do manage to get back to Junkrat, because he gets to leave. But uh, they didn't look like they were actually in that bad of a spot, so I don't know that I would have jumped back over to them. Then Orisa does that, we can't stop her from doing, like, we can't save her, she just went and did some stupid shit. Lucio went and did it as well. They died in completely unresable locations. Uh, uh, now we're out here by ourselves with Junkrat, but, ooh, sick jumps, ooh, look at that. I can't do that jump. Like, I'm, I'm really bad at, like, fade jumping, the mercy jump. I can't do any of that shit. Uh, so we have been doing a little bit of healing people at full health, with, like, right there, which we want to minimize doing, because healing somebody at full health is the same as just having your beam turned off, so we don't want to do that. But not a huge issue, just a little bit of it I've seen so far. So we've got Valkyrie, everybody's going a different fucking way, like, this is the worst engagement for a fight I've probably ever seen, and the worst part is, I know it works. So, we've got Zarya over there, all the way by her lonesome, pointing like a dumbass, rather than, uh, just, you know, drawing. we got Zarya all the way over here, by herself, thinks she's playing Winston or something, going after uh, their Ana. Got McCree and us over here, we got Arissa, who's in spawn currently, and we got Lucio, uh, no, that's not Lucio. That's Lucio, because Junkrat's dying right now, so everybody's coming from a different location, and Arissa's just not here. So we decide to use Valkyrie. I don't think I would have used Valkyrie, to be honest with you. This fight wasn't looking too good for me, but for my position. But hey, it ends up working out. Apparently. Who yelled, heal me, heal me, please, heal me? Who was doing that? Zarya. So here's a thing that I'm going to complain about real quick. If you need healing, right? Just push the I need healing button rather than yelling I need healing because the button is way better at conveying that you need healing and it tells me where you are. Whereas just going heal me. Well, where the fuck are you numb nuts? Huh? Where are you exactly? Hmm? Especially if you're playing with random people. Don't do that shit. Don't go heal me, heal me. Do you know why? I don't even know who me is if I'm playing with random people. Okay, Just push the fucking button. That's one of those things that annoys me, when people do it. But, you know, people do some stupid shit, don't they? Hey look, Winston's over here, uh, jumping in when they've lost the fight, so great for us. Now he's staggered along with Junkrat. So we're looking for Genji right now, I assume, and we just slowly trek out into open space. So now we're just like exposed to the rest of their team, who are reinforcing behind us. 
No doubt looking for Genji, but we've got to bear in mind the rest of their team are going to be coming back, and we just backed into open space. So both their healers are dead right now, so this fight's not looking very good for them. Just heard Junkrat start using the tire. Nope, break the beam and hide from it, classic. We can see Genji over there, and then we just said Genji's over there, so I know we heard, we know, I know we saw Genji also. Um, we, I wouldn't go for the res right now, just because these two people are in, like, re, like, like, they died in some fucking bad spots to try and res them in. We know Genji's over there, we're over two minutes in, Genji's pretty likely to have his ultimate right now, and half their team is actually currently dead. So, if we go back, and, like, they've got the spawn advantage on us, sure, but, like, they lost both their healers, Roadhog just died as well. So, they're half their team's dead right now. We lose both our tanks here, so that's unfortunate, sure. We still got four people, so we've still got the numbers advantage on them. They do have the spawn advantage on them, but this is just such a bad place to go out and res someone. We know Genji's right there, and we can assume he has his ultimate, because he hasn't used it yet over this period of time, and hey, look, he comes over and cuts us. So I, I would not go for the res right there, I'd actually just uh, wait, and uh, if, I, if it seems a little safer to res them, like I see Genji leaves or gets dropped low or something, you know, it's the fact he's right there and they died in such open positions, it's very scary. And we still had the numbers advantage, so it wasn't like we needed to res them or lose, you know. Also, if you're gonna die, try and die in, like, a more convenient place than just out in open fucking space. If you died out in open space, also, your positioning probably wasn't great. Because why were you out in open space? You should be playing around cover so that you can use that if you need it, rather than open space where you gotta run to cover if something bad starts happening, you know? So, um... Farah just went off uh, all the way over there and died, completely untenable to res her. She's died behind, like, four walls behind the enemy team, so... Uh, someone just got nano-boosted. It's Winston. He's using Primal Rage, which is not as good as if he were just, um... was regular Winston nano-boosted, but... He just jumps in, gives everyone a good punch, and, uh... We all die. Life is difficult like that sometimes. I'm not really that bothered um, that we lose that checkpoint. There wasn't really a lot we do about that one is mercy. I'm not really bothered if we lose the... Zarya just used her ultimate. And, I... and hey, so he used trance, silver lining, I guess. But like, if you're in this situation, like, what about... What about this situation makes this look like it's going to be a good ultimate for Zarya, right? So she's ulted, I think, their two healers. At least Zenyatta in that hallway over there. We're all back here. Some of us are still dead. And they are one and a half meters from capturing the checkpoint. Three people are on it. None of us are going to touch it. What about this ultimate looks like it's going to be good for Zarya? Hmm, 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 hmm. Well, she decided to do it anyway. The guy sounds like he's like 10. So we'll get, we'll cut him some slack, right? He's young. We were all stupid when we were young. Some of us are still stupid. So, oh, look, Roadhog used his ultimate as well. So silver linings, I suppose. Here comes Winston. He's on us. There's people with us. So we've got Valkyrie. So if we were really scared, we just definitely don't die to him. Roadhog was a thousand miles up by himself, so he gets killed. I just slapped forward when I did not mean to. I could have accidentally slapped a zero, so good job I didn't push that key. Uh, Junkrat's using his ultimate. Break the tether. Hide. <laughs> just like Jurassic Park strats, right? It's, it's, if we don't move, he won't see us. Be fair, movement is more eye-catching, so uh, that was about, you know, what else are we going to do, right? Um, we end up getting killed by the tire. Uh, uh, we could have, as soon as we heard it, we could have just ascended up with Valkyrie to try and get away from it, but that doesn't necessarily save you on this map, because he can actually just grind it up some walls and still get you anyway. Um, usually he'll just kill someone else, but, you know, you can get got like that. But doesn't matter, half their team was dead at that point anyway, so they've made zero in-road progress. He only killed us. I mean, you know, we're Mercy, so it's bad we died, but eh, you know, we were already winning the fight, so it's fine. 
So, uh, Reaper's over there uh, trying his best to get picked off right now, but, uh, yeah, he gets away with it. Man, just to spin and kill that guy. Oh, flashbang, doesn't die, because we're there to help him as well. Hey, look at that, we've successfully stopped Reaper from doing any dumb shit. Great. Or helped him while he was over there get, doing some dumb shit. Isn't life nice like that? Uh, ooh. Reaper uh, just immediately cancelled his uh, Wraith form over there. Hopefully it was just to reload and he wasn't, you know, holding down left click when he pushed Wraith form. So Reaper was coming at us right there. They've got one now. We immediately pop Valkyrie. Did we really need to pop Valkyrie? Hmm. Not really. Uh, we were, I think, still full health. I we took damage. I didn't really look at the health at the time. Yeah, we were, like, full health when we pushed. He actually wasn't going for us. He was fully looking at somebody else. He did take me by surprise as well. So I, I didn't really question the pushing the uh, Valkyrie at, the at that point in time. But we actually didn't need to push Valkyrie. Could have saved the ultimate. Um, we end up not getting, like, a massive amount of Valkyrie out of this either. We pro... Zarya just used her ultimate again. Um, great time. Fight's already over, but, you know, whatever, I guess. Uh, 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 not impossible we can res her. Yep, Tracer was here, so it was a little bit scary, but Zarya started pushing her back, so it's fine. Didn't need to use Valkyrie previously. I'll finish that train of thought. Looks like it was a panic reaction. It was scary. I didn't question it at first. They're like, oh, we got hit, Reaper, whatever. Actually didn't need to, though. Panic reaction. Bad. Uh, don't want to panic. So, let's, so, uh, no, oh, Reaper's using, uh, no, Reaper's using Whole Hog? No, 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 Roadhog's using Whole Hog. Tracer's somewhere, she just hit us. She's hiding from McCree right now, so not much of an issue anymore. Oh, that was Tracer. She probably blinked back up again, recalled back up again. She's, she's somewhere. Oh, oh, oh no. Oof, ah. Okay, so we, we didn't run, like, as efficiently as we could have done. And, I mean, we probably had to, like, process where McCree was. We are just, like, out kind of in the open right now, which we want to avoid doing. We want to always be playing around cover as much as possible, because this can happen, right? We didn't run it as efficiently as we could have done, because we see him right there, could run back or and try and run back into the hallway, or just immediately walk forward and, like, crouch to try and get behind the shield in time. Instead, we kind of, like, panic, like, oh, where is he? And then move after that. But, uh, we don't want to just, like, stray out into the open, because we should always be playing around cover so that it's harder for that kind of thing to happen to us. Uh, it looked like we were trying to get to somebody who was, like, further up than us, but, like, yeah, well, you know, being alive is still pretty important for us. So we, we, gonna, we gotta be careful about, like, straying out into open space, because if something bad happens and we're out in open space, we have to get to cover, which is not good. So, Lucio died right there. Okay, we actually communicated this because we asked Zarya if she had bubble to cover us and she said that she was going to bubble us. So that's that, that, that's a very bold play to go for, but we did communicate it with Zarya ahead of time. So that's fine. Uh, yes, communication. Wow. Teamwork. Very strong. I just, you know, I'll watch that part again. Mm -hmm. So we've ended up in, like, an awkward spot, because we're gonna have to jump back across again. Because we, we ended Valkyrie over here, and there's pretty much no way we stay over here, because our team's backing up that way, so... We're always gonna go back over there. We should have just tried to end... We should have just been paying more attention to how long Valkyrie's got left on it. And tried to end over in this position we were gonna want to be in regardless. Because now, we didn't end Valkyrie in the position we wanted to be in. And now we have to get over there. And then we take a bunch of damage coming over there. And now our team's only got Lucio there to heal them, which is not ideal. Um... Try and bear in mind, like, where you're gonna be when Valkyrie ends, because you don't want to come out of Valkyrie in a dangerous location. Because when you're using Valkyrie, you've drawn a massive amount of aggro. Everyone knows where you are suddenly, so you really don't want to come out of Valkyrie in a dangerous spot. Similar if you're using Transcendence as Zenyatta, 
Zenyatta players, they never, like, back up as Transcendence is ending. They always just, like, keep going forward. So then Zenyatta comes out of Transcendence in front of the enemy team, which is very, very bad for Zenyatta, who wants to be quite far away from people. So you want to back up when Transcendence is ending so that you don't come out of your invulnerability in front of the enemy team. Similar idea. Uh, ooh, they've got a ba uh, Batista, I didn't even notice, and we just took a big old chunk of damage. We did start GAing out of cover. Video hitched, or was, was that my computer, or was that the video? That was my computer, apparently. Uh, we did start GAing out of cover while we were, uh, not full health, which is uh, understandably quite scary to do. Uh, someone's yelling out that they're overextending. They aren't really... A lot of our team are currently dead. Oh, we're changing to Moira. I lied to you. It's not just Moira at the very end of the game. No, we're never even going to spawn as Moira. Perfect. Excellent. I didn't fully lie. Haha. -ha. Technically, I'm correct, and that's the best kind of correct. So as you can see, there's a significantly less time on this video for our attacking round. So place your bets now. Do we crush them, or do we get full held? Because there isn't uh, much room in between for those two things right now. So, I don't think our team comp changed. Nope, we got Zenyatta instead of uh, Lucio, and we got Doomfist over there. I uh, prefer the Zenyatta. Uh, personally, I'm uh, much more a fan of Zenyatta than Lucio. Always have been. But uh, I just, you know, I'm a simple man. I like to click on the bad men and watch them take a lot of damage. And when they, the bad men click their buttons on me, I want to have a button that says, no more damage, thank you very much. Just, you know, no questions asked. Ah, I don't think we'll die, if at all possible. That's just me, though. So, Doomfist managed to pick off um, Widow, so that's great. Uh... Roadhog should not be standing up there, but he is deciding to do that, because um, if we collapsed on him correctly, he would be fucking dead, but I see he wasn't great for collapsing on him, and it's not the best co collapse, so he just kind of walks away. Tracer's after us, we end up having to fly over this way. Zen didn't put this uh, healing on us? No, not until it was basically already done. Um, is there really anything else we do? Like... Yeah, yeah. like, Tracer comes for us, she does a lot of damage to us, and our team doesn't, like, rally to us very well, so... You know, if the flanker, particularly Tracer, comes for you, and you're playing a healer, there's only so much you can do by yourself to get away from the person, unfortunately, you know? Uh, I was just listening to Zarya. Don't worry about it. Um, yeah, so Zoomfist died over there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. So we are communicating this ahead of time. So we did communicate it again. And, um,. Uh, apparently Orisa walked in front of Zarya as we went for that one. I still don't like going through this one. Because the other one I was more okay with, because we were also in Valkyrie. And you can get away with a lot of, like, pretty greedy reses when you're in Valkyrie at the best of times. So it makes it even easier if you then also communicate with the Zarya ahead of time for the bubble, right? We are not in Valkyrie this time, so we are more vulnerable. And we're also doing it, like, right next to Roadhog, who's already looking at us. And Roadhog can pop the bubble pretty quickly, so, like, I'm not I'm not as down with that one. Um, yeah, unfortunate, the Zarya missed us with the bubble. I'm still not as down with that one, just because we weren't in Valkyrie, and, like, Roadhog was right fucking there, like, already looking at us. Um, I was also really afraid we were going to... GA right into the hook, but that didn't happen at least, so that's nice. Uh, that was, that scared me. We're stuck, we're dead. Uh, nothing you do if you get stuck. If you get stuck, there's a nothing you do unless somebody else saves you. As mercy, anyway. 
That's why I don't like playing Mercy. I like playing Moira. It's so much easier to stay alive as Moira. I don't like playing Mercy. Mercy's so dependent on, like, her teammates to actually do stuff. And, like, all of the supports are, like, that way. I mean, everybody kind of is. Don't get me wrong. But, like, Mercy... I think of Mercy as being an amplifier for her team, pretty much. Or if you're weeb trash, it would be, like... Mercy is the Meister, and then her team are the weapons. So, like, Mercy will make her teammates better than they are. Like, if your teammates are good, you can make them excellent. But if your teammates are meh, you can only make them okay, right? That's why I don't like playing Mercy. She's so dependent on her teammates compared to others. Moira! I can do damage. I got big heals. I keep people alive when they do some dumb shit because they just big healing, you know. Um, Tracer's uh, bullying us pretty hard. Oh, the solid possibility Tracer's a smurf, because that was all pretty good. But like, look at Tracer's level, she's like level 25 in plat. So uh, also queued with a silver and a gold player. So, hey, you know, it's possible that she's over a smurf over here, or a burst boosted her friends or something, you know. I don't want to come across as being too accusatory or anything, but... I'm basically just accusing her of being a smurf right now, because she bullied us twice, and she's a very high rank- well, not a very high rank, she's a high rank for such a low level. You were too low, low, aren't you? Yeah, me, me. You know, I was a little suspicious. So Tracer came first again right there. Uh, wouldn't have been entirely unwarranted to use Valkyrie, seeing as we would also like to start a fight right now, given everybody's grouped up. Uh, Roadhog did just die, uh, so we've got the numbers advantage right now, but our teammates are having a lot of trouble pushing in. Uh, we're also real concerned about the Tracer situation, which is understandable. Tracer's been very rude to us so far. Uh, Tracer's behind us. Uh, stuck. Oh, we're alive. Easy peasy. So now up we go. We use Valkyrie. Uh, don't do that, though. So we use Valkyrie. That's fair enough. This GA is entirely unnecessary and puts us in a massively more dangerous location. We take a big old chunk of damage. Oh, shit. We come back over here. Two scary people over here. Now we're like... Fuck, don't want to expose myself to Widow. Don't really want to stay next to Roadhog either. So that opening GA right after using Valkyrie put us in like a really scary spot. We could have just stayed back and that would have been fine. Then we wouldn't have been in such a scary location for like Discord. Oh God, scary people over there, scary people behind us. At least we'd be healthier for when the scary things were happening. So we've entered the Moira segment of the game. We changed to Moira, understandable. A lot easier to stay alive as Moira than it is as uh, Mercy. Moira can, like, fight the, the bad men off as well. So I, I do want to just, like, use the damage orb more, though. Just, like, immediately. Because this is how I think of the damage orb as Moira. It's like you're playing Reinhardt. You use Fire Strike as much as you possibly can until you have your ultimate, and then you start saving Fire Strike for more specific situations. Moira's Orb is like that for me, where I'll throw the damage- if it doesn't look like I'm gonna need the healing orb in the next few seconds, I'll just use damage orb, like, on cooldown, until I build up Coalescence, because that makes it- you, that Moira's ult charges so quickly, and if, if you can get that damage orb out there, and then just heal everybody while the damage orb is out there, that's great, you're doing a lot- you're doing a lot of ult charging right there, and you build up Coalescence real fast. Uh, we use the healing orb right there. How low did we drop? Mm, roughly around half, I suppose. It's fine. No, it's just... I'm a big fan of the damage orb, personally. So, uh, Widow just shot a lot of people. We've got no one that counters Widow. We've got a Winston now. Somewhat locking the stable door after the horses run away, you know, rounds ending. Huh, Widow just killed three people. Let's go. Um, video just ended right there. So, this, okay, I mean, you know. So, I, I've watched a lot of this man's videos. I'm a big fan of Dungeons and Dragons. So, great job, YouTube algorithm. I like Devil May Cry, broadly speaking. I like fighters. Fo follow this man already. 
I follow this man also, and I do follow Creparian, but I haven't watched a video in probably like two years, so, you know, understandable at least. Hey, great job, YouTube algorithm. You were mostly correct by going for the extremely low-hanging fruit of, hmm, guy watched like seven of this guy's videos in the last couple days, here's some more. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. So, um, did anything over our king really stand out to me? I guess, um, not playing around cover as much as we could have done, like somewhat, some straying out into open space, um, some risky GAs, uh, also, because there was that one right at the end, and then there was the one towards the end of the defense as well, we were like lower health, and then we're like GAing out of cover anyway, and then we heard Deadeye, and we were like, oh shit. Um, so, a little bit risky, uh, some risky GAs, not playing around cover as much as possible. Eh. Overall, um, not that, not that much really. The, the big one for me was like, the, the, the thing that I was like, oh, sick. Uh, pleasantly surprised to see a Mercy in gold do this was, hear Junkrat's tire, immediately break tether and start hiding. You'd be surprised how many Mercy players in gold don't do that. They just stay tethered to people while Junkrat's tires spinning around like, well, makes it easy for Junkrat to find you, doesn't it? So that was the thing where I was like, oh, sick. I don't expect gold Mercies to do that one, so great. Already better than most Mercy players in gold, just by that one maneuver alone. So there you go. Anyway, so thank you very much for watching. If you did, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm more than happy to answer. If you haven't already, you can join our Discord and ask questions more directly and have a conversation about them or just ship post with us. Start streaming on Twitch Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, 7 p.m. EST till 10 or 11. Uh, 7 p.m. EST till 10 or 11 EST, usually 11. There's a link to the channel in the description. And if you managed to make it all the way through the video and somehow still enjoyed it, please like the video and subscribe for more content of middling quality in the future. And I hope you found the video helpful.